Here are top 10 applications taken directly from Snap Store. And just before someone else comments below, I am gonna make a similar video for both Flatpak and App Images in the future. Let's just get started with it. At number 10, we have a very simple video editor. It's not focusing to be Premiere Pro. It's a video editor which is focusing to be a more beginner-friendly video editor. But its purpose is not just to edit videos. Its main purpose is actually to go ahead and then uh, create memes. It's simple and minimal, beginner-friendly and very useful, especially if you have friends. The application which I'm talking about is called GIF Theory. It's basically the application which I use for making some quick edits or creating my own memes. With that said, let's get a bit productive. I'm sure you guys have used Google Assistant at some point of your life. Now imagine that, but inside your Linux laptop, wherein you're just gonna say, hey Google, and whatever you want and it's gonna do the job i know you guys are looking at the reflection of the glasses and uh, yeah it's a mess behind the camera it really does mean a lot of productivity considering that you also use youtube in your laptop with that said it does come with a couple of disadvantages of course it's closed source because it's google it takes up a lot of time just to install and set it up. But once set up, it's really good to be honest. And because you probably have the same Google account linked both to your laptop and your mobile phone, it really means that it creates this ecosystem of stuff which really helps you. With that said, moving on to the next application. Imagine AirDrop but which is made for Linux. You get an application which is completely command line based, which does exactly what AirDrop does. That leads me to number eight, Wormhole. A really good name. You just need to know how to use Wormhole as a command line utility, and that's really it. It lets you send or receive any arbitrary sized files, and it's very easy to use to be honest. But once set up, it's just you using the command line, but of course you cannot send really heavy files like iso files now of course it also has a website which pretty much does the same thing but it is a gui format of wormhole the only disadvantage you can find right here is that you have to have connected to the same network connection with that said moving on to the next application at number seven we have a tie between two applications so yeah technically this video is talking about 11 applications the two applications which i'm talking about are wire and jammy these two applications are chatting clients it's basically whatsapp but a way simpler minimal and a better version made for linux users not to mention it's also open source out of the two applications which i just talked about jammy has a both qt and a gtk version so you can install whatever you want depending upon the desktop environment inside linux which you are using so if you're using something like xfce cinnamon gnome or anything like that you probably want to go with the jammy gnome but if you're using a desktop environment like trinity kde etc you probably want to go with jammy qt version and on the other hand wire is not based off of either gtk or qt so if you are having troubles with the consistency of theming when it comes to either Jammy QT or Jammy Gnome, you probably want to just go with wires. Okay, so now that we have talked about a chat client, we need to go ahead and then also talk about a voice client. At number six, we have Mumble, which is basically a voice client. In short, it's basically Discord, but without the ability to text chat and is meant for you to voice chat while doing a specific task more likely something like gaming or maybe even development it's very configurable and easy to use it has a lot of options which you could use the features it has is basically incredible it has features like overlay if you are gaming especially custom shortcuts which you might want to use while you are doing a specific task again while gaming probably network settings and even messages although it is not as featured as discord's text messaging with that said i think it's uh, time to move on to the next one okay so i'd like to stop here for a minute subscribe right away so that you're not gonna miss out on my future videos trust me they're gonna be awesome and finally follow me on instagram and twitter because you're not gonna miss out on content there as well just trust me i also post a lot of content over on instagram and twitter with that said on with the video at number five we have plex media server it's basically 
a proprietary software so again if you are a strict open source follower you may not like this now i'm sure you guys probably have a collection of images which you probably want to keep forever flex media server is basically an application which you could use to create your own mini server well sort of you see it really does not create a server for you but it lets you use your files whenever you want wherever you want however you want all you need is a computer wherein you have all your images stored and that's really it you can install Plex Media Server onto that computer and then use Plex Media Server to go ahead and then access any of your images slash videos slash documents from any other place through Plex Media. And that's how simple it is. The list of applications really of course does not end there. It's time to get productive. Again, at number 4 we have Zenkit, an application which is so feature rich that it has quite literally everything you could do when it comes to productivity from flowcharts to kanbans to to-do lists to even timelines and calendars and also it has features related to teamwork which means if you are working with a team Zenkit is a really good choice for you when it comes to productivity and management Zenkit of course allows you to go ahead and then sync between multiple devices so that you can operate whatever you want in Zenkit in one device and then view it in the other device whenever you want now before continuing here are some honorable mentions we have instagraph which is basically an instagram client but for linux we have weaken which is a productivity based app which lets you create kanbans and also lets you sync with popular applications like trello we have from scratch which is a very basic and minimal notes creating app we have fluent reader which is an rss reader we have Molden, which is basically a chemicals simulation application based on the atomic density of the chemicals which you want to simulate. We have Susumi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right by the way, which is an application which basically creates a pre-built virtual machine of macOS. And finally we have NeoChat, which is basically WhatsApp but has a really good integration with KDE and the Qt themes which you might want to use with it. We are now ready to go into the top 3 list. Let's get going. At number 3 we have Beekeeper Studio, an application which is so feature rich that it almost misses nothing. It is a data management application which helps you manage applications using languages like SQL. Whether it's your favorite actors or a list of your favorite songs or quite literally anything this really helps especially if you are a developer yourself because it also helps you program using sql on whatever data you have it might not look really useful for most of you guys as of now but trust me once you actually start using it you will realize how useful it gets it could probably manage almost any kind of data this is number three and not number one because it's not useful for 100 percent everybody we will now move on to number two, which is useful to everybody. At number two, we have Unsplash Wallpapers. This application is basic, simple and minimal. It helps you select any wallpaper you exactly want based on filters like accent colors, wallpaper resolution and so on. It's as easy as just searching what you want, selecting the wallpaper you wish to have and then just clicking onto the tick button. That's actually just it. Now this application is at number 2 because of the wallpapers it actually has. The quality of wallpapers in Unsplash really cannot be ignored and the application itself is easy to use. Not to mention it also has an easy account system wherein you can quite literally sync the account which you have and then finally just store your favorite wallpapers and get that wallpaper from any place you want. There's just one application which is rightfully able to beat this application, unless it is not. And finally, at number one, we have Standard Notes. An application which is based on a markdown list, which is very, very feature rich and is probably the best note creating application when it comes to creating a note based on tag system and markdown. And markdown is basically probably the best way to write your notes considering that um, even github and gitlab uses markdown to go ahead and then 
show a specific readme or something like that so it it makes your life much easier when you have one common file which you could host to github or gitlab and also keep to yourself to have as a note it's completely private and has into end encryption and is also very very easy to use and is beginner friendly it uses a simple tag system to go ahead and then segregate your notes in my case i go ahead and then use applications like clickup to go ahead and then schedule my timetable and also add a to-do list whatever i have and on the other hand i use applications like standard notes to create documentations hit that subscribe button make sure you are not going to miss out on my future videos consider following on instagram and twitter i have also decided to post some contents out there as well with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to meet you in the next one goodbye